What the heck? Oh my gosh, what the heck Wednesday. I didn't think it was possible, but it happened again. I, full disclosure, my name is Matt Krachunas and I'm a Seattle Seahawks fan. I'm from Seattle, I was born in Seattle, I've always been a Seattle Seahawks fan. But once again, my friends, we find Bill Belichick and the New England Patriots in the news for possibly cheating once again. They have. Uh, they admit that they had some sort of film crew that's associated with the the uh, Patriots organization that was on the Bengals sidelines. They were filming for something else, and one of the cameramen uh, shot footage of the coaches for over eight minutes of doing hand signals during the game. And uh, then, and, and here's part of it, is that as they were leaving the field, a Bengal security was hip to it. And so they were like, oh, let us delete the footage. And then they asked Bill Belichick, like, what was this footage about? And Bill Belichick was like, oh, we have nothing to do with these people, even though they're part of the organization. Now, here, here's my initial thought, is that <clears throat> some people would say, once a cheater, always a cheater. Uh, some people would always say like, well, you know, there was deflate gate and there was spy gate and there's all these other things that go on with the organization. I, for one, uh, I, I, I've tried to give the Patriots the benefit of the doubt as they've changed throughout the years. When I first heard about this story, my initial thought was cheaters. Patriots are a bunch of cheaters. And, and I'll tell you why my initial thought was that is because they've cheated in the past. They've been caught twice cheating. And so now it just stands to reason that if this is what's going on, then the Patriots more than likely are cheating. Now, whether they are or they aren't, I don't know. It'll be, uh, maybe they'll have a trial. Who knows? <laughs> but here, here's here's my thought of the day and why, why, how we're going to turn this into a what the heck about you and not the Patriots. You have to be very careful what you involve yourself with because once you get a reputation of being a certain way, it's really hard to break that reputation. If the Patriots never would have cheated, people would not be calling them a cheater now. If they would never would have cheated the second time, they definitely wouldn't be doing it now, but because they've repeatedly been caught, it's gonna be really hard to not look at it as an intentional act of cheating. And so for you, I wanna challenge you to be very careful about things that you take part in in your life because oftentimes your reputation will be set in who you are. If you're uh, uh, an angry person, it's hard to break that break that reputation if you're a stingy person or if you're um uh whatever it is like it's hard to break that reputation but here's the good news is that if you're doing good things with your life with your mouth and with your actions and with your heart you gain a reputation of being somebody positive and it's really hard to break that reputation as well so even if you have a slip up uh, people are more inclined to see you as how they see you most of the time uh, and so it is on us you and I both to watch what we say, watch how we live, watch what things we take part in so that our reputation does not become who we are. And so then people immediately think that something about you is true based on a single action. So that's my thought of the day, guys. My what the heck. Don't be a cheater. And also don't root for the Patriots. <laughs> Love you guys. Have a great day. Bye. All right. Here. Hey, uh, thank you so much for lu lick, lick, listening. What licking, are we doing? Licking, Licky, looking, listening, <laughs> whatever it is. Just subscribe, man. Tell all your friends. Call your friends on the phone. Like, hey, you got to see this guy. It's so awesome. Uh, anyway, uh, like, subscribe, follow me on social media, all that good stuff. All right. Love you guys.